Okay. Well, what do you want to know? What are you doing here? Well, covering a junket for your show. Are you having a good time? Yes. Okay, good. So, now you can, you've been part of this you know, comic book world now, you know, since season one of five, and you know, you, you and Robbie Mouse, Fire, Fire Stuff in general, it's just awesome. Thank now, you. being in a team, you know, team with more power people and you know, more heroes around, how is Martin going to be, you know, taking that in? Because you know, he's used to being, part, you know, being two heroes, but now he's like with a lot of them and also villains. Well, I think the fun of this show, part of it, is that it's about this disparate group of people who, are, who have come together for the greater good. So the intention is to uh, combat some really bad forces. And the, the difficulty is that everybody would go about it in a di very different way. And so it's going to be finding that common ground. It's sort of, sort of like a family drama. That's how I see it. And for me as an actor, the fun is, is figuring out how, you know, how can I get what I want from you and by man either tr manipulate, manipulating you or making you or, or, or sometimes hitting you as some of the characters would probably do. You know? So it's that, that's the drama of it and I think that's the fun of it. Uh, and I think for the fans that will be, how are they going to accomplish this? So it, it's a challenge. And, and Martin obviously, you know, looks like he's sort of. I mean, I don't think he's going to be the one who's trying to, you know, uh, put put things together scientifically and probably uh, strategically. So, what's more intense, all the comic book mythology or the Rimbaldi mythology of Alias? <laughs> if you think for one second that I understood anything about the Rimbaldi mythology, <laughs> you'd be wrong. Jennifer and I used to laugh. Because JJ the, too. JJ. Well, but JJ, you know, JJ is like genius. And Jennifer and I would go, what are we talking about? <laughs> and we had no idea. Well, JJ told us once he saw an episode, couldn't follow it. Couldn't follow it. Well, that's encouraging. <laughs> because uh, I, I never could. And, I, and honestly, a lot of what I'm talking about in this show, I have no idea. No. I mean, it's, it's, it's so out there, you know. I love all, but I love the, I, the time travel and the, the kind of the metaphysical aspects of it. And I love the, uh, and there's going to be more, uh, I think, going back in time with the whole group uh, in Legends of Tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to. Do you take the character as you find him on the page, or have you actually sat down to read the broader, the broader kind of DC mythology? Will you think less of me if I tell you I haven't? <laughs> That's okay. It's every answer I is valid. Every, I every, haven't. Every questions of evidence. Okay. No. Here's what I do. I I wait for the script because reading about it is just gets confusing. If, if, if because it's it's not we're not doing the comic book. We're doing a, a compilation of things from that world. And uh, I wait for the writers to tell me what it is, and then I determine how I want to interpret that. So based on The Flash, sorry, that's okay. So based on The Flash, do you see your role in Legends as more of a mentor role uh, to the whole group? I don't see it in any particular way, but I think it certainly could be that. I mean, I think as you know, the fact is that I think they cast me uh, for partially because that's uh, a comfortable place for me to be, and because it, it works with my age and the way I come off in life. And so I think that that's probably uh, going to be part of it, I think, without question, uh, as it already is in The Flash. And, and the way it's developing even in the first season of The Flash, uh, season two, I mean, first episode of season two, I'm already, that's already becoming apparent. So yes, I think, you know, a long-winded answer to your question, uh, probably, but I also think that it will be, um, you know, uh, I, I, I think he's a, uh, has a, a, a an ego and an arrogance about it that I'm hoping will uh, be uh, mined because I love that kind of I love playing those parts. You saw really on the part uh, in the finale that he made him as a mentor in a way to Eddie, for example, before he you know yes you know, went away. Uh, will we see him maybe as a mentor figure to some of these other characters on Legends? You know, like to you know to well mentor. yes that's what well, yes I, I, without question uh, yeah because because he is the the, the older oldest guy he's lived the longest and he knows you know if he sees somebody struggling that that, that and I think that's he's a compassionate guy and so yes I think that will be I mean I'm saying I, I, I don't know but I'm saying I, I think that this will probably be the case when they approached you for the show do you have any hesitancy or any concerns or are you just really excited about the uh, 
I had all those things. Um, mostly I was excited. The idea of it was sort of a very uh, a flattering because I respect these people so much and because I love The Flash. I love the people so much on that show. And uh, I mean, I think they're just all extraordinary. I mean, Tom Cavanaugh and Jesse Martin are friends from New York and I just, I just marvel at what they do. And, and then Grant is a wonder. He's just a... He's insanely talented. It's annoying <laughs> how talented he is. So, so that was part of what I wanted to do. But then the spin-off was a shock. And also I thought it would change, you know, I, I had to move to Vancouver. So that was the biggest concern, frankly. If this had, you know, if this had been New York, uh, I wouldn't have given it a second thought. No, I've been there, and I've, it's there, and it's lovely, but it's not New York. <laughs> With Martin being a part of the show, can we expect Ronnie to, to fall over? Come over? Uh, we can expect to find out uh, <laughs> early in uh, season two of The Flash. It will, it will all come, be revealed.